been gone for so long. I'm back for another video and today is going to be another like shopping haul try on kind of video. So I am obsessed with bargains and cheap clothes, liquidation stores. Like in America, I always shopped at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I actually worked at Marshalls for like five years you guys that there are similar stores like that also in Japan. One of my favorites being Shimamura. I am a religious shopper at Shimamura. I always am buying something every time I go in. Um, in comparison to like a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx, or a Ross, Shimamura doesn't focus as much on like homeware. I go with like the soft homeware. So there's like pillows, cushions, like bedding, that sort of stuff. But the majority of it is kind of clothes and like they have some shoes, that sort of stuff. The cool thing about Shimamura is that recently they have been collaborating with a lot of kawaii influencers such as Lolita influencer Misako Aoki, Imo-chan, the Ryo Sangata influencer, and Nuta for Tenshi Kaiwai. And a good way to kind of show that you can buy kawaii on a budget. Shimamura also does have an online store, so you can buy it from overseas if you use a shopping service. This video is not sponsored by Shimamura. I'm literally just obsessed. And today, we are going to be focusing on the Ryo Sangata influencer Imochan and her collaboration items. Before we move along, I would like to do a quick shout out to Access Femme for sponsoring me for this really, really cute sweater vest. I've been super into sweater vests recently and I've been wanting to have one, but I haven't found one I really liked, so this is so cute! Very schoolgirl vibes. So Access Femme has actually been a brand that I have enjoyed for quite a while. I've been to their Tenji Kai. I bought this like with my own money. Really like Access Femme and I'm very happy that they reached out to me. So one thing that is interesting about Access Femme is that they're starting to kind of try to globalize a little bit more. They now offer international uh, shipping uh, anywhere in the world. They also have eight more English speaking staff and their designs are just so cute. Whether you're into like Jirai K or Lolita or even more like kind of classic sort of styles, I think that Access Femme has something that you will like. And they were kind enough to also give a discount, which I will put right here. You can put may 10 at checkout and you will receive 10% off your order. Thank you so much, Access Femme. And let's get back to talking about Shimamura. So this is kind of gonna be a weird video, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm really hoping it doesn't get like flagged or anything because, <laughs> so Emo-chan's collaboration <laughs> What socks? <laughs> like they're so cute and like perfect like Yosan got the socks, but I'm just like, am I really gonna make a video about socks? And then I'm like, yeah I am. Please know I will be wearing shoes for this video so you don't have to see my dang ass feet. But oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Jesus Christ, it's still like look at this, it's coming. It's just these are actually Misako keys. Like, so cute. Anyway, back to Emo-chan. So I got one, two, three, ten. Ten pairs of Emochan collaboration socks. And so let's go ahead and start looking at some of these socks. So first up, let's work on the ankle socks. So these cost 390 yen and they have this super cute little like bedazzle on them. The lace is, actually feels pretty nice. It's got like cute little flowers on them. Oh my god, look at that. And then I don't know what this says. Smile. Smile brightly, just in case you're looking at feet and it makes you smile. We have them in black too. Pretty much the same. Little ribbon, bijou detail, and some lace. And pink. And all of these socks are only 390 yen, about $3 or so, which is just like absolutely insane. I, I can't even fathom that price <laughs> for Jedi K stuff. It says here that they go for size 23 to a size 25, I think. Okay, so this is the full look. I am wearing the white ankle socks. I'm wearing the cute little sweater vest from Axis Femme. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's so soft and wonderful. 
I'm wearing a Bubbles pleated skirt today, and then I'm wearing Rogita like platform lo loafers because of these are the white ankle socks. They're so cute and they work so well with a cute Gyo Sangata outfit. Literally obsessed, screaming, crying, dying. And and here are the black ones. Something I noticed is that the black ones are not as soft or as stretchy as the white ones. I don't know if it has something to do with like the pigment when it goes into production or something, but so far I think that the white is probably the better buy. So here are the pink ones. They are very similar to the fabric of the white ones so they're more on the softer side and not as coarse as the black ones might work for like a liz lisa outfit okay so those were the short socks let's move on to these long the thin type socks now i have a hate relationship with pretty much any of these kind of stocking types one it reminds me of back when i worked as a teacher and i had to always wear stockings and i was punk punching holes in them by existing. But also, here's why. A lot of Jedi girls and yes, I got to girls have like ungodly like long nails with like a bunch of stuff on them. So these like, you will get holes up here just by putting them on. But let's try them anyway. <laughs> they are 390s. Okay, I don't know though. I mean, they're a stretchy nylon. They might actually, oops. So they say, Ma cha -tun. What the? What does that say? Ma... Something in French, probably. Oh god, I'm so scared of my nails. Now, these are cool. So I do actually have a pair of emo chan collab types from the last time she did a Shimamura collab that also have like this kind of like garter situation going on so I thought I would try them again I don't think that it'll look good with this outfit but like look they're cute they say do what makes you sparkle this lace is not as soft as the lace on the other side these laces don't feel the same. I think this one feels a little bit better than this one does. So it, you might get itchy. I'm not really sure. We're gonna try them on and see. I know that Emotron really likes these kinds of stockings. So it makes sense that she would make them. I see her wear them quite a lot on her Instagram. However, they're cute. I don't know. I just don't really wear black socks. I tend to wear white, white ones the most. The lace when it's actually on isn't as itchy as it is when I'm just like touching it because the like little band goes around it. There is like some French writing on the side here. It's cute. Like this like little cross section are super cute. The design of these ones is really cool and it's only like it's $4.90 and plain white socks a bit more than the plain black ones. Cute. Okay. Okay, so our last like category is like the miscellaneous kind of stuff so these are also like ankle socks but they're like the lace kind so I put them in a different category than the other ankle socks these ones are also 390 they come in Emochan's really cute little like Jidai K packaging super cute let's open these ones oh these are nice um so the lace on this really nice good quality I'm a bit like let down that like the quality of this one is better than this one. Really nice and soft, but this one is a little bit scratchy. Like I said, once it's on your body, you can't feel it quite as much, so it's fine. But like, I wish that she would have used this lace all the way around. But one thing I do want to say is Jidai K and Rio Sangata have a lot of these like little accessories and stuff. When you put them in the wash, um, even socks like put them in a delicate bag so that like these don't just bang around the whole time okay these last two are kind of bizarre because they're not ones that I like typically I think would wear but I wanted to try them because they were fun so they're actually like leg warmers that are like see-through so I'm really curious about these like leg warmers are super in style right now in Japan because of like just Tenshi Kaiwai, like the sub cool stuff. So I'm not surprised that leg warmers have entered <laughs> Jidai K spaces, but like, wow, this is interesting. 
I'm very curious to see if I'm going to like this or not. But so the cross goes in the front, so it looks like the ribbons are to the side. And then this is the very last pair that I'm going to be trying on today. Again, it's another pair of leg warmers. Well, I guess they're not very warm considering they're see-through, so like leg covers. <laughs> like, not gonna lie, they kind of slay. I don't know. I don't know about those guys. Okay, I'm obsessed. These are great. I'm kind of pissed that they didn't have the other colors when I went because like when I went, all they had was the black ones, but like they also have white, I think. These are so cute and the quality is really good. Like, I really do like them. Oh my God. Okay, so they're actually really soft. They're really like, giving off that like coat gal feel that I was vibing with today. Man, come on. What's not to like? Good design. I like the other pair of leg warmers better. I think that they're a little bit itchier than the other pair also. Like they're just not quite as soft. All right, so time for my final thoughts on the Emochan Shibamura collab. <laughs> so first, I would like to say these were the winners for me. I think that these socks were awesome. They're really soft, good quality. The like the detail is really nice. I like the way that it shows. It's really like quite stretchy all the way around. So these lace socks were a big win. Especially the white versions of these ankle socks, they were quite soft, they were stretchy, they're quite nice. I really like the little bow details. Cute! like these. I liked these kind of cross, like, um, garter long socks. I think that they're really cute. I like the little design. Win! These were the slightly more expensive at 490 yen, where everything else was 390, 390 yen. And, but I think that the 100 yen increase was worth it. I think these leg warmers were super cool. So those are my thoughts on Shimamura. I think Shimamura is a really good place to buy some budget kawaii fashion. Like I said, they do have an online shop, which you can use a shopping service to get if you are ever in Japan. There's Shimamuras in ma mainly rural areas, but if you Google like Shimamura, maybe one will pop up. I think that it would be a, a fun place to kind of feel like you're in a Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I, again, want to do a big shout out to Axis Femme. Thank you so much for sending this for me, and I think that it's so cute. Please check out Axis Femme. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!